We set about to create a bicycle helmet that had dual cameras in it, one in the front, one in the back, so that every time you went on a ride, you took the helmet with you. It's a wearable camera that doesn't take any extra setup. You get it and you put it on, you've got to put a helmet on anyway. In 2014, I suffered the second hit and run accident of my life. And I had another device, I could have put it on the bike and I could have recorded what was coming, but I was lazy. And whilst I was laying there, I think it was one of those lightning bolt moments. And I thought, you know, if I had put cameras into a helmet, I would take it with me everywhere I went. When I went to go and buy something like this, there's nothing available. And so I thought to myself, well, if there's nothing available, why don't I make one? My name is Rebecca, I'm a transport planner. I'm Chris, I'm an IT consultant. I love cycling, it's my gym. Just love getting out in the fresh air, makes you feel alive. Love the morning rides. I like to ride hard and give myself a good workout every day. It's a mental health thing, it keeps me sane. <laughs> Riding in traffic is scary because it's so unforgiving. I've seen people look straight at me. There's no reason for them to pull out, but they just do. I'm a mother, I have two small children. I do worry about passing cars. It can be stressful. At the end of the day, the car will win. So you're always a little bit nervous with them around you. But the thing about having a camera is that if there is something that happens to me, I have a record. I, I think it would help if there is an incident to record exactly what the car driver has done. The fact that you can stream what's going on in the helmet to your phone, if you mount the phone to you your handlebars and then can see what's happening behind you. That's probably the biggest thing for me. Just being able to see cars coming up behind you, having a few seconds extra time. Still having a vision of any cyclists approaching from behind, trams, cars, without necessarily having to turn to look behind and look in front. It feels just like a normal light helmet. I expected it to maybe be heavy or... It's, yeah, I'm, I'm really quite amazed. I thought that there'd be a lot more weight to it. Good tactile um, on switch that I find is quite easy to use. It connects really easily. You push a button to turn it on and it's on. I think if every driver thought that they were passing a bike rider who could prosecute them for what they do wrong, I think you would see people give you more passing distance. Definitely a bit of a deterrent. I think we'll see motorists being a little bit more accountable. The product already exists. Prototypes are already made. We need your backing to be able to scale up the production of these helmets and get them out to you so you can ride with the most technically advanced bicycle helmet in the world. It's a great product. I didn't expect it to be this good. <laughs>